like this first of all this is crazy like why why i also have these two chanel bags i really have a problem but i'm not the only one so. wow who requested for me to do this video like hi babes and welcome back to my channel so for those of you who are new here hi my name is imana and today we are going to be doing um a packing up video because i'm moving so this will actually be the last video that i am filming right here so a little emotional we've had so many milestones that i've hit in this like my bedroom pretty much so i'm packing everything up i have like my trunk right here i have like a crap load of dust bags right here so i'm gonna pack all my bags up i did do like a little poll on my instagram and i was asking you guys like what would you want my last video to be in here some of you said like my top 10 favorite handbags babe i do have a video with like my top like five or six that i'm carrying right now so i'll have that one in the description box down below for you someone else was asking me to show which bags are replicas versus which bags are authentic other people were asking me um you know like are my tory birch bags authentic and uh, updated bag collection and they wanted me to go through all my bags so i was like okay this would be perfect because i have to put all of these away anyways um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. The first thing that I want to go ahead and do is my subby shout out. I'm actually going to be grabbing my shout outs from the people who responded back to my poll. So I have Madame Maria. We have Alexandria Evelyn. We have Crystal with a lot of ease. We have X Ashley MC and we have Cynthia Motita. I'll have like all your names going right here, but those were the ones who responded back um, to my poll in regards of wanting me to show off the collection that I have, which ones are real, which ones are authentic, all that great stuff. So that's what we're gonna do pretty much in this video. I'm actually gonna go grab me another glass of wine. And honey, we're just gonna like pack it on up. I'm probably just gonna be listening to some music and then I will go on ahead and like let you guys know which ones are authentic, which ones are replicas, all that great stuff so just stay tuned okay so i'm back i got my wine and i'm drinking the sun pop peach moscato wine from target so if you're over the ages of 21 which 98 percent of you guys are honey go out and get you some wine also if you're watching this video like definitely do it while you're like washing dishes folding clothes maybe you're working and you just want to have like a friendly voice in your ear or if you're doing something because this is really just going to be like a super chill type of video like i'm literally in a t-shirt and biker shorts so nothing super fancy so the first thing that I want to start off with people were asking me um are my Tory Burch bags real fake where do I get them from um I think I addressed this in my uh top five like favorite bags or something like that but all of my Tory Burch bags are authentic I get them all from the Tory Burch store or I get them offline so this one I bought myself for Christmas this one i bought myself when i hit 1000 subscribers this one i bought myself for christmas of 2019. so these are the three toy birch bags that i have and for those of you who like know me know me y'all know that i am waiting on toy birch to have a site-wide sale so that i can go and get the black fleming that is literally my dream bag because i've pretty much already said that i'm not going to get a chanel bag like i'm not going to buy an authentic chanel bag and it's because I really want the Black Flemings. Those bags are authentic. Um, some of the other bags that I need to go in ahead and bag up are all of my LTL London bags. All of those bags are LTL London bags, so they're not like um, Chanel replica bags. You can call them a dupe, but they're LTL London bags. Also, LTL London came out with some cute bags, y'all. Oh my gosh, it was on tuesday i want to say the fourth of may y'all that collection fire they had some bags that look just like prada bags so just a secret i did get one i didn't need to get one as you can clearly see but i got one so they had some of those they even have this um it looks like a a chanel like top handle bag it looks like where is it so 
it looks just like this one y'all but it's the ltl london bag and i have i want to say like four of them so this one is a ltl london bag and i just love this color and then i got this one which i haven't carried i haven't even taken a picture with it but i bought it because it was like valentine's day so i have those three my brown one i was actually carrying that one today so it's actually in the kitchen we can go ahead and talk about teddy blake i don't really have like a whole whole bunch of teddy blake bags i think i only have like three so this is one of my teddy blake bags and this bag really does give me like hermes vibes it is just so freaking cute and i really really like it it's definitely like one of my favorite bags so i believe in total i have three teddy blake bags because this is another one that I have. And then I also have like a small red one somewhere. So, and then here is the last Teddy Blake bag that I have. So three Teddy Blake bags. Okay, so we're still on authentic bag. I think the next brand that I can go ahead and show is Coach. I really only have one Coach bag, which is this one, but Coach is actually coming out with like a lot of cute styles. I'm honestly waiting until I move to go and get more Coach bags um because i really want to go to the outlets and stuff but yeah i only have one coach bag and that's it and this was definitely one of my favorites i really really like my coach bag so now we can move on to kate spade and that is probably what i have a lot of so for those of you who know i used to work at kate spade so i have a lot of bags from there but kate spade was also what i could honestly really just afford in college with all of their like surprise 75 sales and stuff like that so i was i didn't know anything about replicas but i did know a lot about kate spade and there was a kate spade outlet in charlotte so i was always going there i was always on their website and then i ended up working at kate spade so i have a lot of kate Kate Spade bags. Um, here is one. I don't carry it often, but I really do love this bag. They also had this in like a couple of different colors, but I just, I bought it in like this berry color because I felt that it was like super cute and unique. So there's one. This was like my very first ever Kate Spade bag. So like I'm never getting rid of it, but I really do love this bag too. Here's another Kate Spade bag that I like. My mom really likes this bag. Um, but this is this was actually the last Kate Spade bag that I bought on my last day of working there. So I have this one. And so then I also have this one. I literally have not carried this bag in so long, but I'm hoping that I'll carry her sometime this summer. And then I have this one. I actually carried this one last weekend with like some biker shorts and a t-shirt and stuff like that and it was actually really really cute so i definitely like this bag and then i also have this bag right here this one was actually um my like work bag it's so kind of like destroyed but i have another one just like this bag in a different color because i loved it so much and i knew that this was going to be like my work tote bag and honestly like i like this one um, I want to say maybe a little bit better than my Neverfull because it's black. There's like really no wear and tear on the actual leather of the bag on the handles. absolutely. But the actual leather of this is really, really good leather. It's withstanded a lot, a lot. I've had this bag for, I want to say almost four years now and it's still in pretty decent condition. And like I said, I have another one just like it. I also have like a case Bay backpack and some crossbodies and stuff but those are all in my closet so those are kind of like all in my Kate Spade bags so I believe oh and then I just have like maybe two bags that I bought off Instagram so this was from an Instagram account and I really really like it because it gives me like Gucci vibes in a way you see what I mean like definitely gucci vibes but it is definitely like bigger than the gucci bag but i really like that this is another bag that i bought off instagram this was from a black owned business and they have some really pretty bags but this is another one that i think is really really cute so like two bags from instagram that covers it for all of the authentic bags so now i'm going to go on ahead box all these up and then we'll talk about the replica bags that i have
real authentic brand name bags in my trunk now for my replica babies which are pretty much the rest of what you're seeing right here so um my beloved Pichette Matisse I still have her she's definitely a replica my reverse monogram Pichette Matisse she is a replica baby my Alma BB in monogram she is a replica baby and then here is the new one. So absolutely love her. Um, what else? We have this little crossbody right here. If I'm being completely honest with you, like I don't really think that this is like my style of crossbody, but I keep it because it's cute. And because I keep seeing so many pictures on Pinterest with this bag. So I'm like, I have it, but this is definitely like a bag that's for show. And there's nothing like wrong with the bag or anything. Like it's a good bag. I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll carry it more in the summertime, but I haven't really been carrying it. And then I have my little toiletry right here, which I like. And then I don't think that I ever like formally introduced you guys to her, but she is a replica as well um as is she so as you can see like this first of all this is crazy like why why Imana do you have this like why I don't know I don't know I mean if we're being fair this is a different style so that's that and also these are two different materials this is like a lambskin material this one is kind of like that it's not coming to my mind right now, but it's a different type of material. I don't know if you guys, you could, you guys can definitely like tell the difference, but do I need both of these? Absolutely not. Um, I think I would probably end up carrying this one more. I don't know how often I would actually carry this bag. Uh, I mean, it's a cute bag. I just, I have a problem, okay? I have a problem. Two problems, actually. Moving on. My Chanel 19 bags. These are all replicas. So, <laughs> these are replicas. But I love all three of them. So we have those. And then, moving on to kind of like Gucci. I have this one, which I really like. And like, I kinda sorta wonder if LTL London is gonna come out with like a replica that's similar to this one because they have like the crossbody, like the Gucci Marmont bag. Do I have it in here? They have one that's like similar to this one, but I feel like it's smaller in a way. But maybe that that could just be me, I don't know. I don't have it, so I, I can't really speak to it. But it looks smaller, even down to having like the heart on the back, y'all. So I was like, wow, like that is a really good bougie on a budget type of bag. But as for Gucci, I have these two. And then I also have this one. And then I have this one, which I said this one isn't really like my style, but I'm gonna give it until like fall winter and see like if I can come out with like some really cute outfits so those are like my Gucci bags right there um see so I'm just gonna kind of like because I don't have any more room on the floor really um and then I also have these two Chanel bags I really have a problem but I'm not the only one, so I don't I don't feel bad about it, okay? I think this is like just a really good way for me to reflect. So for those of you who asked for this video, I appreciate it. It's a blessing and a curse because I can really see the problem that I have. Like I have two Pochette Matisse, I have two Alma BBs, I have four of the same Chanel Classic Flaps, I have three Chanel 19 bags. This is a problem this is a problem <laughs> but we have these two i carry this one more often than i carry this one um i don't know this one just 
I just like this one more it's black and silver and then it's like if I want more of like the black and gold vibes I typically will just carry like my um, Chanel 19 bags so that's that I also have this bum bag which like I think is really cute but I haven't okay so I did give this bag a chance last year I did and what I didn't like about it was like as much as this seems like so convenient maybe I just needed like a smaller wallet because y'all know I was carrying like my big Louis Vuitton wallet for the longest I've actually been carrying my smaller Chanel wallet more often now so maybe that would have been a little bit better but I don't know child so I have this one and then our beloved Neo New Way, which I still have yet to carry. I feel like because of the monogram canvas and because it's like black, it gives me more like fall winter vibes. So catch me at the end of the year with this one. Okay, and then I have like my little Chanel backpack. So for those of you who know, I carried this bag like once. And honestly, what I'm about to show you is probably not even a big deal, but it was kind of like a big deal to me. But it had a little like hole in it. So I was honestly wondering if I wanted to like paint splatter this bag or like what I wanted to do if I wanted to stitch it up and still use it or what I'm honestly not sure but this is like a huge backpack purse and it's really cute and I liked it but like once I saw like that rip it just kind of made me a little bit nervous so we're pouring a little bit more <laughs> if you're watching this like in the evening time please don't make me drink alone and like pause the video go get yourself a glass of wine because we're still not done. I have some bags behind me and I actually need to like bag these bags up. Oh, I still have like four bags at the top. We just, <laughs> I really have a problem. So this is my authentic Louis Vuitton Speedy in size 30. This is my replica Speedy in size 25. And this is my replica Speedy Bandolier in size 30. Wow. Who requested for me to do this video? Like, I, I don't appreciate, like, it just really makes me look like I have a problem. Like, in actuality, like, a lot of people say they're like, oh my gosh, like, I want a bad collection like yours. You don't. I promise you, you don't. Because it is the most difficultest thing with like finding a bag to go with my outfit when i literally have two of the same bags but like minor differences i'm like do i want monogram or do i want demira bean do i want flap or do i want like chanel 19 vibes like this is ridiculous my name is imana and i'm a shopaholic this is crazy so yes i have three speedies right here i also have a never full mm that's over there my authentic never full right here actually i'm probably not gonna pack her up i'm probably gonna keep this bag out and one other one so um i'm only gonna allow myself to keep like two bags which will be that one and well i guess i'll just have to use my ltl london bag because that one's the one that's out and, and i i probably will keep like one of these three bags oh yeah let me go ahead and get those actually so we also have like these crossbodies right here. This one, y'all already know, hands down, this is my favorite. I absolutely love that bag. I have carried this bag about like twice. The only thing that I don't like about it is the zipper. Um, the zipper sometimes gets stuck, which frustrates me when I'm out because I really like for my zippers to be like perfect. So, I mean, it, it just sometimes it just gets stuck and I don't like that. But I mean, this is still like a really cute bag. And then I haven't carried this one out. I think the zipper is, oh, the zipper is actually a lot better. I mean, it's still like a super cute bag and I still really like it. So <laughs> there's that again with my obsessions of like the same type of bag. So those are all my bags. That's pretty much my entire bag collection. Like I said, I do have some in the closet, but those are just more Kate Spade bags that I have. Um, so yeah, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I am gonna go on ahead and put all these in dust bags. And I just wanna say like a major, major thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed with me and who are like supporting my channel, following me on Instagram, interacting with me. Like it means so, so much. I'm, I'm actually really happy that I'm moving, but we have truly made so many memories in this room. 
like if i can find it i'm gonna post like a little video or a picture of my first bag organizer and how many i had and y'all within like less than a year we have just grown like my bag collection has grown my friendships with you guys have grown like i feel like i've grown as a person so i am just so so happy i cannot wait to see how i'm gonna create my space in my new apartment i i honestly have no idea so bear with me on that one but i just want to say that i am so so incredibly thankful and like i said i just pray that we continue to grow and that we get more you know bag babies over here so i hope that you guys have enjoyed it the next time that you see me y'all i will be in my new apartment with my new setup <laughs> so until next time bye